Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Fazone, Superintendent of Schools in the Mercer County Special Services School District. I would uh, like to welcome you all to the Superintendent's Corner each and every week. In the Superintendent's Corner, we tell you about some great things that are taking place at the Mercer County Special Services School District in the areas of teaching and learning and activities. Uh, we hope you'll join us each week. Our uh, guest, as always, is uh, Mr. Brian Biddings, Assistant Superintendent, and we also have Nick Sikowski, our producer and director. Our special guest today is principal of the Joseph Capella School, Ms. Clara Vigos. Ms. Vigos, welcome to the Superintendent's Corner. Thank you for having me, Dr. Fazone and Mr. Biddings. And uh, Ms. Vigos, tell our viewers uh, a little bit about yourself. Okay, sure. I was a special education teacher for 15 years in Hamilton Township. I came to Mercer County Special Services in 2017, where I was a supervisor of student services. And this is my second year as principal at Joseph F. Capello School. I uh, noticed some uh, interesting activities were around. Mr. Bennings, did you see some interesting activities that were taking yes. place? Yes, I, uh, I think Ms. Beagles and her staff have done a fantastic job as we did our in-person ESY program for the summer. We are winding down our five weeks. Ms. Beagles, want to tell us a little bit about the five weeks? Yeah, sure. So we did an Olympic theme this summer uh, for our five weeks of ESY. We did the five rings of the Olympics, which each ring represents a different realm of the world. I was really proud of, of how our teachers and our related services staff prepared and collaborated to develop lessons and activities that really promoted higher level thinking while incorporating our students' individualized goals. To get our students acclimated back to the full day schedule, coming off of remote schedule, uh, we had clubs every afternoon, which were led by our special teachers, so Ms. Alyssa, Mr. Jim, Mr. Sam, as well as our speech therapists, our occupational therapists, and our physical therapists. Um, I brought some pictures, if you'd like to see. Sure. Our art club and our library clubs would meet um, and do different activities that involved following directions, the smart board, fine motor, gross motor skills. Uh, we also, to help incorporate more of our tools of the mind curriculum, had a dramatic play club, and each week, was a different theme. This week they did the ocean, they took a trip to the beach, they went surfing, um, and it allows the students to play, but also gives our professionals an opportunity to extract language through play, practice sharing, turn taking, um, and it was a lot of fun. We also had our Olympic club, which did different sports. This was gymnastics week. They played soccer, volleyball, track, passing the baton, uh, you know, is always difficult and while always incorporating our students' individualized goals and their fine and gross motor skills. Every Friday we had water play, which was always a big hit. Um, she has a gigantic sponge because she's actually working on squeezing the sponge. So they think they're having fun, but actually they're working really hard. Um, and these pictures, a fun thing about this summer is we started a communication app with our family. So these pictures could be taken during the day and sent straight to parents so that they could see what their child was doing, the smiles on their face. And it also allowed the parents to communicate with their child when they came home to talk about their day and the things that they, they learned at school. Our hallways are filled with beautiful creations. We're tie-dyeing t-shirts for our USA parade on Friday. And uh, it's been a great summer. I noticed uh, with the water activities that you uh, had popsicles and uh, that seemed to be a, an exciting, I know my favorite popsicle was the blue one. I try to stay away from them, but I like that blue popsicle. Uh, what, what's your favorite popsicles, Mr. Bennings and Mr. Uh, Cherry's my favorite and Cherry? I know Ms. Beagles has a favorite as well. I do. Uh, I bought a different brand this week and there was actually yellow in there, which was pineapple. So I do secretively sneak into the freezer and steal those. They're only 20 calories each, so don't judge. <laughs> Okay, okay, so that's not too bad. And uh, I, I just thought those those activities were interesting. Mr. Bita, Bita, do you have a big uh, background in curriculum? So how did the how does the curriculum apply to what you saw was taking place over at the Joseph Capella School? Well, I think Ms. Beagles has addressed a l number of areas and particularly modifications and looking at how some of the skills and things she was doing with the students certainly played a big part in the socialization for the in-person instruction. She has garnered every area in terms of students building up some of the skills that perhaps remote learning did not allow them to do. Super. What's your favorite part about being a principal at the Joseph Capella School, Ms. Vigos? 
my favorite thing about being the principal here is I work with an amazing group of professionals. They work so hard to assure that their students reach their highest potential and they inspire me every day. So definitely the amazing people that work here. Well, I want to let everyone know, our viewers know that in future uh, episodes, we're going to be having uh, teachers, we're going to have administrators, we're going to have board members. Uh, we're also going to talk about our safety plan as we move forward. People have uh, questions and, and we'll, we'll have uh, answers on this particular show, the Superintendent's Corner. Uh, so, Ms. Bigos, thank you so much for being our guest today. Thank you, Ms. Bigos. We Thanks really appreciate you coming. So, from, thank all you so us, much. from all of us at the uh, Superintendent's Corner today, from myself, from Mr. Biddings, uh, from Ms. Bigos, and Nick Sikowski, uh, we want to hope that you'll join us in future shows. Uh, but for now, uh, have a great rest of the summer, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.